What's up, gentlemen? I hope you guys are doing amazing. My name is Nikhilesh for people who don't know me. And you know what? If you're a happy person who enjoys life, guess what? Not everyone is like you. There are some people who like to be unhappy. So in today's edition, we're going to talk about five people you should start avoiding henceforth. And here we go. Let me explain you scientifically. Good and bad behavior is contagious. Some of the studies have shown that emotions circulate through social networks just like flu virus. These patterns can be tracked. Numerically speaking, each positive person you surround yourself with enhances of you being more positive by 11%. But on the other hand, each negative person you let in your life doubles the chances of you being more negative. So why does this happen? Let me tell you, interacting with different people engages your mirror neuron system. Mirror neuron is a cell in your brain that fires both when you act or when you see someone acting. So in fact, what do I mean by that? Let's take an example. You start staying with someone, okay, and then you spend over a span of time with that person. Believe me, you start mimicking their behavior, which is not good for you. So. Taking this one more step ahead, I want you to cut down all those negative people out of your life right now. Alright guys, here are 5 people you should start avoiding henceforth. Number 1. Downers. Imagine the situation. Some people walk into a room, they absolutely light it up. While others walk into a room, they kill it. Why does that happen? These downers are the people who suck away all the positive energy from you and it's like they have a dark cloud following them wherever they go and hey hold on don't feel bad about these people odds are they're probably more comfortable in their misery perhaps what i would say is they like the kind of attention it gives them and frankly speaking just avoid these people we should not care about these people why because of your happiness because of your health issues do you really want to entertain such people I would personally say no and stop entertaining such people. Stop entertaining people who don't even give you any kind of energy, in fact, take you in return. Number two, distractors. These are those annoying people who drive you nuts and they make you focus on them instead of you focusing on yourself. They make you focus on what they're doing instead of you focusing on your goals. It's like they absolutely distract you from the bigger picture. Some of the most promising Futures has been sacrificed behind these distractors. Some people have actually left the school. Some people have left their jobs which they always love to do just to be in this distracting relationship. Look, most of the shiny things on this earth are always distractions and those include people. One last thing is don't let this amazing person make you forget that you have got amazing things also to offer to this world. Third, stay away from people who play victim. Don't know how to identify them? I'll answer you in three questions. Number one, look for people who do preaching of self-sacrifice. Number two, look for people who make you feel guilty about your strengths and your accomplishments. Third, and finally, look for people who make you feel sad just because they're feeling sad. I'll tell you something really important about victims is they really are the masters of positioning themselves on a very high moral ground. They use obligations to manipulate you into doing things what they want you to do it. And finally, be cautious about people who make you feel responsible for their happiness. Number fourth, stay away from know-it-alls. These are the kind of people who will never let you forget your past mistakes once you held in life. They will try to bring you down by tapping on two important psychological phenomena number one imposter syndrome and number two is negativity bias imposter syndrome is characterized by inability to internalize the accomplishments that voice which keeps creeping in the head to win every argument second thing negativity bias on the other hand is referred to as brains performance for negative or positive information so don't let this some know-it-alls rule you by their behavior okay you know where you're heading for and you know what you want to achieve in life so stay focused 
Fifth and finally, do me a favor guys, refuse to stay around drama queens or drama king. In fact, I'm gonna call drama king as drama queen because they share the somewhat similar traits. These are the kind of people who love conflicts. These are the people who are addicted to drama and winning arguments. I mean, no, no matter what it costs or even if there's nothing to be won, you are better off letting these people go out of your life because you deserve to be happy and confident, right? I will wind up this video for now and see you guys next time.